Once upon a time in a faraway land lived a beautiful princess. Her skin was white as snow. Her lips were red as roses, and her hair was black like the night. Her name was Snow White. Servant! Servant! Yes, Your Majesty. Call Snow White quickly. Snowy. Her Majesty would like to have a word with you. I'm playing the little bunny. Hold a second. She said now. Sorry. All right, I'm coming. Yes, Mother? Your dad's traveling today overseas, and it's going to be a long time you won't see him. Is he? Oh, no! Father! 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 Yes, my sweet. What your mother said is true. And yes, far away, it may take us a couple of months. Oh, Daddy, please take me with you. I'd be a good girl. It's not possible, but I promise you one thing. A gift? Yes, a special gift from the Far East. Snow White had a beautiful but proud stepmother who was a witch. Every day she stood in front of a magic mirror and asked, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of us all? The mirror used to answer, You are, oh queen. As the days went by, Snow White grew older and prettier, and her father wasn't home yet. Good morning, Mother! Good morning, Snow White. Oh, Mother, it's not pleasant to start such a wonderful day without Dad. Am I not good enough for you? Oh, I'm just saying it would be better with Dad. Good morning, my ladies. What do you like for breakfast? I'm so hungry. I need eggs, omelette, orange juice, pancakes, cereal, and... What? That's too much. Too much. Look at fat and ugly. Hmm, fat and ugly? That would be great. <laughs> okay, okay, get her whatever she wants. For myself, I take some orange juice with some crackers. I'm on diet. As you wish, Your Majesty. One day, the stepmother asked the question. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of us all? But the mirror replied, you are beautiful, but Snow White is the fairest of them all. What? This why you think is more beautiful than me? Servant! Call the guard quickly! The jealous queen was so angry. Yes, your majesty. Please, you may leave us alone. Take this girl outside on a trip, a trip from which she will never come back. She ordered is Snow White to be taken to the forest and killed. I'm afraid I don't get what you mean, Your Majesty. Kill her, you idiot! Kill her, or, or you'll never see your wife and children ever again. Okay, okay, it will be at the Snowy, Snowy, hello. Come see my friend, this little bunny. How cute! You like animals, don't you? Yes. Then come with me for a trip in the woods. We will see many animals there. Mm. But mom won't let me. Don't worry, she asked me to take you for a trip in the woods to breathe some fresh air. Yes, let's go. Wow, butterflies. I love colorful butterflies. Now listen to me, Snow White. I'm really sorry, but I have to kill you. Are you kidding? Aren't you? But the girl took pity on Snow White. Your stepmother ordered me to do so, but I can't. Go, run away. Why should it, why is she doing this to me? Where should I go now? I don't know. Just keep walking. I'll tell her I killed you. The girl left Snow White deep in the forest and ran back to the palace. Snow White wandered through the forest alone. Oh my lord, I'm so scared. Oh my lord, help, help. Snow White finally saw a strange house in the middle of the woods. The house belonged to seven dwarves. Can you help me? I'm lost. Of course, my little big lady. You are welcome. Why do you look so miserable? What happened to you? 
the kind words hear her sad story and say. You can live with us, my lord. Thank you. I can take care of you. So every day when the dwarves went off into the forest to work, Snow White stayed back. Snow White have to turn to one action. In the meantime, the wicked stepmother eagerly asked the mirror the question. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of us all? You are still fair, but none to Snow White can compare. Deep within the forest glen, there she stays with seven little men. What? <laughs> Guard! Guard! Yes, Miss. Where's Snow White hiding? She's dead, Your Majesty. Ordered me to kill her, didn't you? Stop lying to me. Say the truth, and I will let you live. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Please believe me. So you lied to me, you little filthy thing. You deserve to die. The damn girl is still alive! I will go kill her myself! The furious queen decided to go to the forest and kill Snow White. She disguised herself as an old woman slurring apples, filled a basket with poisoned apples and went to the dwarf's house. The minute the queen left the palace, the king arrived. Hello! Your wife has just left the past, and your daughter, your daughter disappears since you traveled. Disappear? I must go find her. Good morning. Would you buy some of these wonderful apples? They're very sweet and tasty. Look how big and red and round they are. They are delicious. Snow White was scared to open the door to strangers. What should I do now? But the woman pleaded. Hmm, nothing will happen. She is an old and poor lady. Besides, the doors will love to have a healthy snack. Okay, hold a second. Snow White couldn't resist. She took an apple, but the minute she bit into the poisonous apple, she fell to the ground. When the dwarves returned, they were shocked to see Snow White lying like she was dead. Oh my god! She's dead! Really? Can't you see her? Oh, sweet Snowy. She died. Oh dear. Oh dear. We must give her some honor. They put her in a glass case and sadly sat around her. Just then a prince showed by, he saw the beautiful Snow White in a case and fell in love with her. Oh, what an angelic face! What happened to her? Why is she lying like this? Oh, she is dead, still young and sweet. She doesn't look like she is dead. <laughs> I'm sure she is sleeping. Hey, don't touch her! Shh. He leaned over and kissed her. At that moment, the evil witch magic spell was broken as Snow White awoke. Allow me, young lady, to meet you. Thank you, sir. What happened, dwarf? You know what? Let's get inside and invite this gentleman over. 
The dwarves were overjoyed and danced in glee. She's alive. Let's have a part. Yahoo! Almost with snow. Here you are. Thank God. You're safe and soon. Oh, Father, Father, you finally returned. What are you doing here? Who are these children? These are my friends, little dwarves. You saved me when the queen asked to kill me. And this man... She was dead, and he saved her. It's my honor to meet you and meet your daughter. My name is William. I'm the prince of Pennsylvania. Oh, oh he's, he's a, a prince. prince. He's a perfect match. Your Majesty, would you please grant me your blessing and let me marry your daughter? Yes, the prince saved the day. Be blessed, you love birds. Shall we have a wedding party? The prince and Snow White were married and lived happily ever after. The end.